Talking about a miraculous recovery, this Burn High School senior has overcome so much in the last year because that's when she was involved in a car crash and she was trapped as that car inside as that car burst into flames and her chances of living were only 5%. But now a year later, she is back in school, getting ready to graduate and has her eyes set on college. Fox Carolina's Kayla Conboy has been following this story from the very beginning. So Kayla, what did she say this last year has been like for her? Well, this last year has really been trying to prove that she could make a comeback, and it hasn't been easy. She had to build back the strength to even walk again. But to many, her journey has been touching. A lot can change in a year. For Maddie Gervasi, it's the difference between motionless and clinging to life to fully living it. It was a roller coaster. Right before her junior year prom, she was involved in a crash. In a matter of seconds, her car burst into flames. She was injured, trapped inside. But that day, a miracle happened. A couple who lived around the corner heard the crash and rushed over to her. I was able to get my fingertips right at the top and just start pulling. And I pulled everything I had and the door come open. I pulled it all the way back around up against the flames. They got her out. He put his own life on the line, working to save her, talking to her the whole time. It's a decision he never questioned. It's okay. We're taking care of you. We got help coming. But I told the guys there on the scene, I said, we're not going to let that girl burn up in that car because I got two daughters. Those moments could have been what saved her life. Now a year later, seeing her again brings tears to his eyes. It is hard. Everybody I've told this story to, I always end up crying because that's it's just how hard it is. <coughs> but people call me a hero, but I don't think I'm a hero. It's an unexplainable bond that can't be broken. And just days ago, Maddie wanted to thank him. We got him and his wife a watch for each of them. And we thought a good way to show that is because they came in the nick of time to save me. On the anniversary of the crash, she made 12 different stops, each to say thank you with donuts. It was her appreciation tour, revisiting everyone who played a role in saving her. We brought them to uh, my staff at the hospital that was part of my medical team. We brought it to the fire station in Duncan, um, the first responders, the police department, um, the EMS, the helicopter, uh, flight nurses and pilot. Every day she's getting stronger and her friends say that strength is inspiring. I think regardless of the situation that she went through, it was tragic and everything, but I like knew no matter what, like Maddie was going to pull through it. And because every person and agency worked tirelessly to save her, these moments aren't over. We love her. Yeah, we'll always <laughs> love her. Love you guys. <laughs> It took Maddie months to even be able to walk on her own again, and since then, she's continued to fight, getting the go-ahead recently to start playing softball once again, one of her many passions. She recently attended her senior prom and can't wait to start college in the fall in Charleston. Reporting live, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.